Welcome back everyone to another video and here we are we're back in emergency response to Whittier County. I've actually been away on vacation for the last one to two weeks and so I haven't actually played ERC in nearly two weeks now. And surprise surprise there was an update a couple of days ago. I know I'm a couple of days late for this but I do hope you enjoy this video. Slightly different update video than usual but I do hope you enjoy covering everything and all the secret features you may have missed. So sit back, relax and enjoy the update video. Starting off with probably one of the biggest features of this update is the new bus or the transit system in ERC. Around the map there are now new bus stops, I believe there are around 11 in total, I may be wrong in that but they're spread all around the map and there is a new valley transport department. Tons of new uniforms to choose and also a new bus with an interior. It's really cool to actually have a new vehicle with an interior in the game. Price is at 67,000 in-game cash and it's got a ton of seating for all your friends to sit in the back. It's also got an opening door feature where you can go and press X and the doors will open, you can go and get people in and out. This is mainly for roleplay but you can also so call the valley transport so anyone on the team will get notified add some really nice role play ability to the game some new role plays and it's also really cool to have a vehicle with an interior additionally fun fact you can actually shoot and use melee weapons to break the windows on the bus so it could be cool for some SWAT or police role plays of some sort overall great start to the new update Next up we have the post office. Small update in the front, they've added some new kind of parcel and decals and there is now a new mail van. So it's similar to the mail truck but basically just an extended version and as you can see here it can fit a lot of packages or 10 packages in the back precisely. And basically what you want to do is you can go and pick up packages and posts from around the map, these small blue post boxes you also get a notification above them. You go up to the post box, you can open it up, grab them and then put them in the back of a truck. And once you've reached the maximum capacity of 10 packages or parcels, you can go and deliver them back to the mail station. People who enjoy playing on DOT are going to absolutely love this update. The first update to the DOT station in a very, very long time. Um, we've actually only had one DOT station, so we've got a completely new one now. And we've got a little tour here going on, but it is absolutely amazing. There's tons of more space in there. Uh, there's new offices, there's a dispatch center. Overall, I feel like this is gonna give DOT a lot more playability in game. And it gives me a vibe. I think they built it in a similar style to the fire department, which I don't mind, honestly. It's a really, really nice station. And there's a ton of things to role play in. There's offices, dispatch stations. And there's also tons of area around the back now as a kind of like a junkyard. Now, they didn't just stop with updating the DOT station they also added a new uh, tow truck and basically this is similar to the one we've got in game but basically it's got an actual tow on the back so it's not like a flatbed it's a tow truck and all you need to do is drive up to a car in game you can lower it uh, lower the tow truck down and what you need to do is you need to get the metal bar uh, between the front wheels basically and so reverse it into the position where the front wheels are basically touching it then an anchor UI will appear on the bottom right on your screen and you can tow any vehicle or most vehicles anyways and it's a really really cool feature it's also may I point out our first quote-unquote trailer in the game because the vehicle kind of acts like a trailer it's really cool anyways it's articulated and everything and it's a really really nice feature Next up, we have a new update to the fire department. I feel like fire department's getting an update every single update or every single second weekend, which is really cool to be fair. Um, but anyways, this is basically hydraulic struts. So you can place them under vehicles, they're for roleplay purposes only, and they're made to support vehicles, which is a really, really cool feature when you have mountain rescues or vehicles toppling over. We also have a generator that is on fire department and DOT. Also may mention the medic bag is now placeable. Now we're getting on to some small updates or some smaller features in this update, but melee weapons can now break windows. I was talking about this in the beginning when I was talking about melee weapons can actually break the, um, the transit bus windows, but it can also break any random windows in the game, which is a cool feature. If you love role-playing as a farmer, you are in luck. There's a new silo and a smaller barn to accompany the large barn we have in game at the farms area. And it's a really, really cool update, actually. I didn't think they'd add anything like this. And you can actually climb up the silo, you can go inside the new barn, really cool. Additionally, SWAT now have the safety line. So the safety line was added to the FD in the last update and SWAT now have it. So you can do SWAT, uh, if you own the SWAT Game Pass, you have this new safety line rope you can repel uh, or climb up of buildings. Different type of update video today, but I do hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite part of this update and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.